Creation and Fall of Adam and Eve by Willy Jomo. Willy Jemlo was an Italian sculptor active between the years of 1099 and 1120. He was the first artist to produce large size sculptures as we can see in the three images displayed on the slide. The one on the top is the one I will be discussing today and it is known as the creation and fall of Adam and Eve. The one on the bottom left is known as Daniel and Zacharias whereas the one on the bottom right is known as Teleman. In addition to these artworks he carved a lot of biblical stories and most of his artworks were religious and he had a lot of artwork related to the Christian culture. This monument was carved in the early medieval times era and has a height of roughly 3 feet. The monument itself depicts three scenes from left to right. The first scene being God creating Adam, the next scene being Eve as she is created from Adam's side, the next and last scene being Adam and Eve covering themselves in shame after they eat the fruit from the forbidden tree. As followed by many religions, Adam and Eve were the first man and woman to be created by God and sent to earth. But in terms, God had set in condition that as long as they obey his orders, he will make sure that they get all the happiness in the world. Unfortunately, due to the devil named Satan, Adam and Eve committed the sin of disobeying God, in return suffering through the harsh parts of life instead of being in a heaven-like beautiful place. There are only three characters in this narrative. It consists of God, Adam, and Eve. If we observe closely, we can see that through the scenes, it shows a time lapse of both the individual's lives. It starts from how Adam is created to how both Adam and Eve eat fruit from the forbidden tree. In the first scene of this artwork, we can see the creator, God, is creating Adam and his hand is on his head, trying to depict that Adam would have God's blessings at all times and will be well protected and is pretty much known as God's child. Next, the scene in the middle of this narrative is trying to depict the creation of Eve. She was created by God when Adam was asleep as displayed in the scene itself and God is also holding her hand which is trying to depict the same meaning of God protecting her at all times if she follows the rules that God had set into place for her. In addition, if we zoom into the second scene of the narrative, we can see the words Eva and Adam written on the wall, which is portraying that these two names are the most important names in history and the most important names for mankind. In the third and last scene of this narrative, we can see both Adam and Eve picking the apple from the forbidden tree. If we observe closely, we can see their facial expressions and they seem kind of scared as they have committed a sin. Overall, the author Willie Gemlo has tried to use every little detail to get his message across. Throughout the picture we can determine which character is which as we can see that God is covered with a very detailed drapery and is also covered by angels whereas Adam and Eve, the two main characters, are not covered in any clothing. Whereas the second scene seems to appear as if God is warning Eve to stay away from the tree and eating the apple. Adam seems to be asleep and unaware of the warning, which is probably why he is the individual that is biting the apple first in the third scene. And we can also see in the third scene that the tree is covered with the serpent, which helps to show that this was the work of a Satan and or evil. Overall, as the viewer, we can easily distinguish that this piece of art displays the story of Adam and Eve, since it is a very important part of most of our religious beliefs. This particular monument was known as a great artwork for that reason, also for the detailing and posture. For example, Adam kneeling down before God shows his respect, and Eve taking the apple offered by the serpent, which is also known as the Satan, as she looks at Adam take the bite. So by looking at these small details it is easily distinguishable that the story is about Adam and Eve.